hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on Bose Alao. we're talking about our life a family our early life a marriage a children and husband and of course the controversy of domestic violence Bose Alao faced in a marriage but to the glory of god they are still very much married four beautiful daughters they've both uh, learned their lessons Alao was born in january 6 1985 was born in lagos nigeria and the fourth child out of five children she came to prominence after a performance in a yoruba nollywood movie titled itakon Bosa completed a primary school education at Command Children's School and attended Gideon Comprehensive High School, graduating in 2002. Her tertiary education was at University of Lagos, where she was due to study biology. But then she conceived along the line and she had to do her introduction. But due to multiple births, as I mentioned earlier, she has four beautiful daughters. This pregnancy produced twins, two beautiful girls. Due to the time frame of conceiving and giving birth, and you know, over time, she couldn't go back to finish her studies at University of Lagos. And then she attended Lagos City Polytechnic, Ikeja where she obtained a national diploma in business administration. She is a professional Nollywood actor, filmmaker, endorsement model, and entrepreneur. She is married to Razak Omotoyosi, Nigerian-born Beninese footballer. The early years of her marriage with Razak Omotoyosi wasn't a palatable one as she was facing domestic violence, although she confessed that she had the part and the role to play in all of it as well. As much as her husband beats her, she is one woman who runs her mouth too. This is not me saying this. This was what she confessed in several interviews. She further explained that one needs to understand who you're married to it's not every time you have to walk out of your marriage because of domestic violence she said one of the things that helped her through her marriage was therapy they both went for therapy and it really helped them both before therapy it was a disaster and thankfully they both realized themselves and they worked towards making amends to their marriage and today they are living together as couples raising their four girls together say allow for that shared that one of the things that contributed to all of this was when she lost a movie worth 12 million naira and she couldn't get herself out that she almost died any little thing she was going to snap at her husband and of course they both couldn't control their angers and it resulted to domestic violence in an interview with sunday scoop she explained and said she wouldn't want to shed light on what happened between herself and her husband but she shared what really worked for her. In her words, she said, I would not want to shed light on what happened between my husband and me because it is a bygone issue. But for every woman or man being abused, for everyone that faces domestic violence in one way or the other, the first thing to do is to love yourself and ask what you really want in the process of being in a violent relationship. You can die. Just ask yourself if you want to sort things out or walk away. Some people would advise you to walk away, but it is easier said than done. Sometimes you just need some sanity. If you feel your home is toxic, just step aside and get help. As for me, I went through therapy because I could not give up on my marriage. I would not. The therapist was abroad and the sessions were conducted online. A fan saw the news online and reached out to me. In fact, she paid for my therapy section. She paid $800. The therapist spoke to me and my husband and it has been very helpful. You just need to know what you want. No woman should stay in an abusive marriage. Do not ever say that you are staying for your children. Of course, I would not give up on my marriage just like that, even because of my children, but we were able to work things out. This was Bossy Allah was sharing this with Sunday Scope, stating that to do this just for our marriage to work, explaining all the things she had to go through. She said, the lowest point of my career was when I shot a movie in 2016 and I lost the whole file everything this was a movie that had stars like magic michael from ghana macy johnson and other big stars i lost everything including my weight as i was reducing to a size six from size 10. however life goes on 
before I detected I had lost my files, I had sent the movies to about four countries for viewing, but it was rejected because they were blank files. I did not have a backup. I cried my eyes out and it almost affected my marriage because I got angry easily so I snapped at my husband a lot. It was not about the 12 million naira I lost but the stress that was attached to making the movie. I almost died during the process. I would advise my colleagues to always have a backup and never rely on any video editor. It was Bossy Alawo years back sharing her experience and what she had to go through. Bossy Alawo's husband who is not very much a social media person. The whole matter of her marriage was brought out by Bossy Alawo herself and she shared this on social media, WhatsApp to be precise. She said she wanted her husband to see what she was going through and what she went through. Hence, she shared the story on her social media page, which is WhatsApp, not Instagram. And she eventually apologized because she knew better as at that time. Went to her social media page, Instagram to be precise, and apologized to her husband, her fans and loved ones. She said, I will be deceiving myself to say nothing happened or pretend I didn't see all that was published between my husband and I. It has become so overwhelming that I do not know how to handle it anymore. But to start with, everything I read on Instagram was not posted by me or meant for Instagram. If you follow my husband and I, you will know we are not friends on Instagram for a long time. My WhatsApp is the only place we have each other, which was the reason I showed and expressed my hearts on WhatsApp so he could see it. The violence is on both sides, which is the reason we need therapy and are now undergoing it because there is no justification to domestic violence. I just want to say a sincere sorry to Razak Omotoyosi for all I have made you pass through in these trying times of your career. You have been a wonderful husband and a proud father. It's just sad we both can't manage our anger. To my sisters, brothers, mommy and entire Omotoyosi family, I'm deeply sorry. Oh my God, to my beautiful kids. I am sorry for all you have passed through these past years. Their pictures is being used because I don't have any pictures on this phone they own it to be an actor is really not easy i tend to forget my status in the society especially when i am upset i don't know how to disable comments on this phone would have done that i have read so much and heard so much after this ugly incident i am sorry and hope we both agree on the best for us soon it was Bosse Alawo sharing the faces that she had to go through to make sure that she keeps her home and of course in 2021 entering 2022 they took a family picture and shared on social media adding a caption and saying this is just a way to let you know how much i appreciate all of the awesome things that we've been through together in the year 2021 life is excellent on the grounds that friends and fans like you are there every single experience of yours give me new inspiration thanks for your understanding dedication support love and attention they all mean so much to me and i feel very lucky to be able to experience life alongside you i will always cherish you i hope and pray that we will be alive to share good moments in the year 2022 thank you for everything happy new year from my family to yours we have started with joy may we all see many more in joy and good health we will count our family and none shall be missing enjoy new year when you see coin just hugger for me say a word of prayer on that at Jeremiah empire post for me on my behalf this year will be better for you and yours. My pistol is not now. I start grateful. Well, this was Bossy Alawo sharing her experience. And yes, they are living together as one big family now. Well, it's not all women who would have the patience to go through this and admit and take responsibilities for their own actions as well. Oh, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.